so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use span text as the next thing and the span text is text like this where you can change the style of the text for some section of it and that's what my video live member those are all elements of span text and so what we're going to do is we are going to first come over to our menu and we are using the thesis nav menu and so here what we're going to do is wrap this in a span tag span, oops, which is SPAN and then a closing span tag which is slash SPAN okay and then we'll say instead of and then we'll do the same thing here for these pages demo demo to category mommy demo six video and blog and then we're gonna go ahead and put actually right here after demo we're gonna put a closing span tag and then we're gonna put a break tag br space slash there's our closing break tag and now instead of saying the numeral one we're just gonna say one okay and so now we'll copy that span and break tag let's say two and then the span and break tag between category and columns and between mommy and blogger oh and between demo and six it's funny got that in the wrong spot and then between video and example and then I'm gonna put it right after blog also and say articles okay so now I have well you'll just see what we have we're gonna have two line menu text now okay so we've got home demo one demo two category columns mommy blogger oh I didn't get the six in there video example and blog articles let's, let's just go back to that for a second must have missed Oh, demo six. Six. Okay, update that. And then what we're going to do is go back to our nav menu and style that span text. So, first thing is we're going to center our menu text now. So, that's in our typical text. And then in our span style, we're going to create a span style. Checking that box and then once we've said we're going to create it we are going to we're going to change the font family and make it Arial now we'll change the font size and say make it 18 pixels we're going to leave a normal spacing we're going to leave it all the same except we're going to center the menu text we're going to leave the link text white well in fact we'll leave all of it white for just a moment and we'll just hit save come back and refresh it okay and so now you see we have our span text which is each piece of it is you know the top piece is bigger than the bottom piece right and the color change is only on the main one we could actually change the color for all of our hover right so we could change the white color to another color for example let's just do that actually just for grins let's make the span text here for hover let's make it three 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 and hit save and refresh it oh it's not interesting yeah I gotta fix that but oh oh that's 
That's cool, actually. <laughs> so the color only changes if you put your finger over it. Otherwise, it doesn't necessarily change. Interesting. Didn't see that coming. Okay, so anyway, we'll go back to FFF. And then the next thing we want to do, you can tell we have now shortened the menu by doing this. And so we want to make these menu items a little bit bigger. And that means we need to turn our layout guides back on again. And refresh that. And one thing we could choose to do is make all of our menu items the same width. Now, since we have about 980 pixels of width here, what do we have? Uh, we have 949 pixels, and we've got eight elements. So 949 divided by 8 is 118. So we could make everything 118 pixels wide instead of using the padding. So now we're going to not use menu item padding, but we will specify the typical item height and width. And we're not going to specify the first item padding. Instead, we will specify its item width instead of its padding. And so now the typical item width, we're going to give it as 118 pixels. Let's see what happens when we do that. Refresh this. The problem with that is that width adds padding to it, obviously. And so since I have some padding there, I need to change the width. Quite a bit smaller. So menu item width. Let's just drop it down to 90 and see if we can force this thing into place. Otherwise, we're just going to go back to what we had before. And so everything is exactly the same width now. But I could easily have 30 more pixels divided by 8. So let's just add 3 pixels to that and see what happens. I'm not going to change the first pixel, first width. 93. I think it's easier to add pixels and get it right than it is to subtract them, obviously. It's a little bit more estimation. And I don't know. I think really one more. Okay, so that's got those things all the same width. Now what we're going to do is yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and turn that off. And refresh this. So now we've got a menu system that has you know, those varying sizes of text. Obviously, I need to specify a specific height or the home is going to, well, we could easily just make this a little bit simpler and say home page. That might be cheating, but we'll cheat. Home br space slash page. <clears throat> 